Okay, so I do not know anything about the subdate. Uh, it, it came out like uh, seven hours ago-ish. That should date this video because I, I know this video is not going to come out anytime soon. So the update came out about, uh, about seven hours ago-ish. I'm going to check the operation page first and then the updates. Um, the very first thing I have to say before I even look at it is this guy in the middle uh, looks like the uh, the old guerrilla warfare models from uh, the old Counter-Strike games. Like he's got the uh, the bandana, he's got the, the jacket going on. Actually it kind of looks more like the uh, the original like CS 1.6 models. That's kind of cool actually. Yeah so they've so obviously that's based on the guerrilla warfare guys from 1.6 uh, and I'm gonna just take a look. Uh, we'll see what's happened because I have no idea. Uh, the only thing I know is what Sai told me that there was there were deagle changes in M4O1S. Uh, also, I'm gonna get this out of the way now. Uh, when it comes to skins, my preference is pretty plain, and I don't really care too much. So I'm probably not gonna be too interested into this, too many of the skins. So that coin is neat. I like the sort of scale thing going on. I'm not a huge fan of the Look at those, these huntsman knives. These are huntsman knives, those are, the, those are a new knife, aren't they? Uh, private queue. <gasps> no! Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, that is actually really cool. Okay, that is, okay. So, in the past, if you wanted to do like, VOs and stuff, you had to have like your own lobby basically. Or I guess you could probably do it with Premiere if like you loaded a normal map offline with like everyone that you wanted to play with and then you did change level to the uh to the Premiere like voting map because the voting map actually does have all the logic in it to set up the votes. But that is so complicated. This is so much simpler. This is a great change and I I'm tempted to actually use this for stuff. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Scene group private queue. Cool. So you can do you can do it with scene groups as well. Oh, that's great. Okay. Choose your yeah. So we're doing this again. The operation shop. Uh, the guerrilla warfare. Te yep. City seal team frogmen. Okay. Uh, and the French. Jean de Marie. New and with the Riptide case. I'm not going to care about any of these probably. There might be a few skins I like, but we'll say the Gorilla Warfare are back. That's so, that's so nice to see. Ooh, 2021 collections for all that stuff. New agents? Okay, right. So Elite Crew, so Mr. Mulek's back again. Uh, we've got, how is that barely different from the B-Squadron officer? Like, oh, we get Brazilian CTs now as well. That's actually really cool. So we're getting like real global representation, which I guess makes, makes sense because the game is called Global Offensive. So I've got Lieutenant Farlow again, except now she's treed up. Bloody Daryl, but he's not a top like tier, I guess. Jinder Muddy National. Oh right, so that's a different, different faction. Okay, so that's a different faction that's evidently French. He kind of looks like one of the player models we already have though. Actually, he kind of looks like the Elite Crew a little bit. Like the guy with like the handlebar moustache. So yeah, we're just getting French. These are really cool models though. Oh, that's a really cool model as well. And that's the master agent? Chef Dis the Squadron Rouchard. Lieutenant Crikey. Uh, okay. Still Frogman. Okay, so these are like uh what do you call it? Like scuba like gear sort of things, it looks like. Wet socks, but yeah, these are all kind of oh, guerrilla warfare. Okay, so we have like an entire set of like different appearances for guerrilla warfare now instead of just like they're, they're, they're their own faction now instead of just a generic player model, which is really cool. Oh, this guy looks like he knows what's up. Holy shit. Uh, I, uh, hmm. This guy doesn't really scream guerrilla warfare to me, but Viper Sister of the New Revolution. <laughs> Okay. Medium rare Crassware the Forgotten. Crassware the Forgotten. And that's all of them. Oh right, actually it just occurred to me, this Mr. Mulek looks like the uh 1.6 Elite Crew. 
It just occurred to me that's what they're going for. Counter Strike. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same colour scheme. Oh my god. So this is kind of like the uh, bringing back 1.6 player models update then. Because they've got the 1.6 Guerrilla Warfare and they've got the 1.6 Elite Crew. That is really fucking cool. Okay, I'm just going to go down the page with my bit. So new mission types. Uh, uh, scavenger hunts, graffiti missions and more. In any order you play, well you can already do that. Keep your way, uh, work your way through a series of checkpoints and complete your mission. I think that's how it works already. Uh, make steady progress in your grind or complete your mission faster by satisfying your challenge condition. Okay, that's new I think. That sounds like they're doing the TF2 contract sort of thing where you have multiple con like challenges and stuff. Ooh, okay, right. This is literally the 1.6 update, what the fuck? Features new ways to play your favourite game modes. I'm sure compared to the team deathmatch that team deathmatch or something for everyone. Riot Shield, currently available as a heavy weapon for CTs and casual hostage maps. Th this is literally the 1.6 update. It's got a health bar and everything, okay. So it doesn't seem like it takes that many hits. Short matches want a longer, one competitive rule set, but at the time for a longer match. With short matches, you'll get the competitive five -five experience blasted into a best of 16. That's a good change any length so you can search for score 9 or score 16. That is a good change. Free for all. Oh wait! Classic. Individual score, other teams target, team v team and free for all. So team v team was actually already a thing in the game, it's just that it didn't, it hadn't been updated to work with Panorama. Um, there were console commands for it added back in Operation Hydra but I don't think it was actually added as a game mode in Hydra. But obviously now they've fixed it and it works properly. And they've also added free-for-all as a proper game mode. That is really cool. I really hope both of these stay in the game after the operation's done. Drop ball grenade. <gasps> no! They did it! They did it! No fucking way! Uh, the Emperor of Odessa does more damage to the... Uh... They did- hold on, the A1S and the A4 did like the same damage before, didn't they? So now the A1S does more damage per hit to the body, while the Deagle does less- okay, that's- that's a needed change, but- Wait, do these are even che- they were 400- they were 400 before, right? So now they're the same as the PC-50. Presumably, unless they're cheaper than the PC-50. Map changes blocked visib- Okay, I need to check that immediately. Demolition and arms race, got on a tune of more fast pace. Arms race has been tweaked and you'll get health pens if you're on a roll. That is a good change. Arms race was a fucking nightmare before because of no no health regen, basically. So we've got a ravine, that looks neat. Wait, is that like a salt mine or something? No, I just thought I thought I saw like salt or something, but no. Extraction. Was that one of the ones from the from a map car contest a while back? I don't remember. Insertion two, neat. Basalt, that was from one of the map car competitions. County. I don't recognise that one. Uh, okay, so a good selection of maps, most of them from map core competitions. Uh, Riptide Agents, Riptide Case, okay. Okay, hold on. I was gonna say I'm probably not gonna like most of these, but I actually do kind of like that one already. Um, so we'll go through, we'll go through from the start. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's so bright. Uh, eh. 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 That's okay, I kind of like that one. It's kind of neat. I, I wouldn't use it, but it's kind of neat. Yeah. That's a kind of neat one as well. I wouldn't use that one either. Ooh! That might be when you go to Famous. That is a really nice fucking Famous. I might have to get that one. Uh, What is that? BI-83 Spectrum? I'm assuming that's uh, pearlescent, because it would be kind of weird if it wasn't. I don't know about that one. Watch dog, that one's neat. That one's neat, I really like the suppressor design. That one's also neat. That one's also neat. Of course we had to have a gorilla themed skin in this update, so. Also neat. Oh wait, that's like a Danger Zone theme one, isn't it? Because it's got like the zone moving in, it's got the hexagons and like the yellow hexagons show where players are. That's a really cool one. Uh, tried, yeah, that one's neat. 
uh, and then Plague. That's really neat, but maybe a bit too intricate for my liking. Like, holy shit. Uh, okay, sticker collection, I don't give a shit. Is this all of them? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Uh, train co okay, so we've got the new train collection as well. Oh, That is a cool one. I like that. That's neat. That's just kind of generic. Eh. USP white out. I like that. Actually, that one, the CZ and the M4 kind of give me, like, Deus Ex Human Revolution vibes. That's not a bad thing. Like, I absolutely love the colour scheme and art style of Deus Ex Human Revolution, but... Uh... Okay. Okay. Like, uh, like with this, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Like, I'm sure if I looked at it for more than two seconds, I probably could. But if, like, the, the thing is, if it takes me more than two seconds to figure out what, what a skin is going for, I just, I don't really care. That's neat. Actually, I don't really care much about it, but it's got some nice patterns on it. Red Quartz Nova, neat. See, the problem is, none of, all of these are in the train collection, which means, they're not in a case, which means you can't get them in Star Trek or anything. But you will be able to get these as souvenirs. Actually, you can't get this one as a souvenir because it's train, but <laughs> train was removed from the game, but that's fine. Uh, that one's okay, that one's okay. Amber third? Uh, okay. Okay. Revolver Blaze, cool. Patches. I like that one with the CSGO logo, but the shark and the, the trident, that one's, that one's neat. Actually, these are all kind of neat. I, I wouldn't use these on... Actually, maybe the anchor one I'm, I'm, I could see myself using on a, uh, on a, on an agent, but maybe the diffuser one as well, but that's like it. Uh... Desert Hydro... Ooh... Enoch Fox. Ooh. These are like... I, I don't really like... Like, I would never use these, but... They are really pretty looking. That colour scheme is really nice. Is that going to be the colour scheme on all of these? That's actually a really fucking nice one. I would actually use that if... Actually, would I? Uh, probably not. But I like the I like, I like the colour scheme and design of it. Sansom. Actually, I really like the look of all of these. Pink Vivi Pat. Elegant Vines. That doesn't really fit Mirage in my opinion, but... Desert Blossom. Yeah. You wanna... Yeah. Music Box. Yeah. Bubble Deep. Ooh, that's nice as well. Then growth, minute palm, color camo. Yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like most of these. Navy sheen, that's a new one. Analysis, yeah. Uh, Riptide Surf Shop sticker collection. I. Sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, so dust two collection, new dust two collection, red diddy pat. I like that. Wait, what the fuck? That that wasn't the first one. I clicked on the first one. Okay, that's <laughs> kind of over the top, but sure. It looks neat. Uh, Death Drag, that's neat. Fit UMP Fade, okay. Case Hardened, Max 10, Red Duty Pat, Orange and Olus, Galil Amber Fade, that is really cool looking. Uh, New Roots, Quicksand, Black and Tan, Night Palm. Yeah, again, these are all fine. They're inoffensive, the they're, they're fine. Uh the twenty twenty one Vertigo Wait, didn't we just have a new Vertigo collection? Or am I Oh no, we didn't get any Vertigo collection, did we? Uh so Imminent Danger by Slime First has a pair So I imagine this is gonna be the the new sort of most expensive skin in the Vertigo collection. Because previously it was a black laminate AK, which was neat, but this A1S should be it now, especially with the A1S changes. Because, god, more body damage. I can't fucking imagine what I was doing to the A1S. I guess I'll find out, but like, off the top of my head, that sounds kind of ridiculous. Has a pair, that one's neat as well, but it's on an SG, so nobody will use it. Uh, Fall Hazard. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That looks hideous. Holy shit. Uh, looks fine. Looks fine. Looks fine. We've got a green laminate now instead, but it's a blue, not a like a pink or something, so that's fine. I love the carbon fiber skins, but none of them are available on Star Trek. Uh that looks fine. That looks fine. 
looks fine, looks fine, looks fine, looks fine, looks fine, yeah. So you get the pass with the thing, you get stars by doing the missions, same requirements as previous to get the different coins, uh, you use the stars to get rewards. Uh, is there a limit? No. Can you play the missions without a pass? You need to have a prime status or an operation pass. But you must have the pass to redeem stuff, so same as before basically. Uh, you can then trade them one week after purchase. How do I participate in missions? Prime status. How long does it last? Until February 20th, 2022. Okay, so doesn't that mean that because... So there's something bothers me, because originally I thought that what was going to happen was Valve was going to alternate between doing an operation, then when the operation ends, the next major will be just about to start, so they can sell or not, so they can sell the major pass right after the operation pass. Can have a few weeks of downtime, and then you can have the major pass, and then have like a few months, another major pass, a few weeks after that, the next operation. So basically, you have three passes over the year, with operation a few weeks, major a few months, major a few weeks, operation, but. The next operation, or the next major, is in like a month or two, right? And this is go going to last until 2022, so are they not doing an, a major pass this year? Or what? I, I, don't, I don't know if they're replacing major passes with, with operation passes now or what, but... Or if they're doing an entirely new system for like the Pick'ems, but whatever they're doing, that I'll, I'll, I'm interested to find out what they're doing with that because that's the way I assumed they were going to do it before, but obviously they can't do that now because the next operation is going to start- or the next major, sorry, is going to start in the middle of this operation. So, kind of weird. Uh, let's take a look at the actual updates. Uh, operation Riptide, very much making cues, short competitive, uh, which is MR16, uh, on no preference. Uh, deathmatch, different settings. Demolition, uh, reduced rank rounds to 10. Oh, so it was 20 before, so that's neat. And eliminated, eliminated halftime team swap. Ooh, so you play as the same team all the way through. So basically they've cut the game in half, is all they've done. Because previously it was 10 rounds on one team, 10 rounds on the other team. So 20 rounds total, but now it's 10 rounds total with no halftime. Uh, reduced round time and adjust weapon progression. So, yeah, so they've made it much faster, which is good, because dem Demolition was already kind of weird and didn't really feel like it knew what it wanted to be, but arms race are just weapon progression. That might be a good change depending on what they've done. And you receive a health shot after three kills. That's good. Grenades can be trapped. I don't know what that's gonna do to the game. I really don't. Uh, vision after death reduced from three to two seconds. Vision by headshot reduced from what? Oh, that's actually quite a significant change. Okay. Basically that means that like when you die, like the screen starts fading to black, it'll fade out faster now. That's an interesting change. Okay. Uh Deagle, reduce body damage, M4, increase body damage. Reduce price to three hundred, yeah. So now you've got the choice between dual elites. I'm gonna. I'm personally gonna start buying dual elites more, because I think the dual elites are fucking hilarious, and I love. Also, they called them dual elites here when in game they're actually called dual berets. They're not called dual elites in CS:GO, so that's interesting. That whoever wrote this made that mistake, but uh, we all know what they mean. So, uh, added the right shield heavy weapon to the buy menu only in casual. Casual hostage? That's really specific. I'm not sure why they've specifically chosen casual hostage. I guess because... I guess to give CTs, like, more cover in hostage, maybe, but that's kind of weird to me. Uh, county's been added. Yeah, new maps. Oh, and they removed the previous maps as well. Oh, they removed Frostbite as well. Holy shit. Oh, because county is a danger zone map. Right, okay, I get it. Slight visibility tweak from despawn through mid. Improve visibility into back B from up tunnels. Mid get at top of banana solid. Uh, 
revised 1v1 layout. Okay, yeah, there were some kind of like visual bugs with the 1v1 layout and I don't think it was great, but so that's that's okay. Um Fix bullet penetrations on plywood. That was a bug for so long. They finally got it. Increase size of plantum blaring above bomb sites. That could completely fix the map. We'll see though. We'll see how how much of a change they made, but that could completely fix the map. Uh okay. So I also had a 1v1 arenas because I didn't have them before. So interesting changes. Um but I'm gonna have to take a look at this in game to actually get a feel for it. The jungle. Holy shit. Primeval home to an exotic assortment of rare species. None more rare than the murky breasted pygmy jungle fowl. <laughs> What a privilege to be the first to capture on film its festive plumage, its regal bearing, its its wild, fear-filled eyes. Is that a fucking helicopter? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, it just occurred to me actually, I missed the new knives, the knife, the one new knives. Uh, oh, just close it, I guess. Uh, I'll just go to play missions for now, rather than get past. Uh, so let's have a look. Oh my god, what the fuck? Feature and get kills in a series of different radar Get a kill from bombsite A, get a kill from CT spawn, get a kill from- that's market. Get a kill from bombsite B, get a kill from catwalk, get a kill from mid, get a kill from stairs, get a kill from bombsite A again. Get a kill from T-Ram and get a kill from T-Star, what the fuck? Okay, but you get 10 different stars for that. Okay, uh, complete a variety of tasks in- okay, this is a much better system. Get 30 kills or get 4 multi kill rounds in a single match. This is a much better system. Uh, so I'm an aerial assault and guardian black site. Is there no shot match? Win 21 rounds or win one match? That is cool. Like they give you an option just to win a match and get all the things straight away. That is, that is good. Yeah, there's no, uh, what do you call it though this time? No, like, co-op strike mission yet, yeah, anywhere. Oh, they changed this so you can just click down and see them. That's real good. So, seal the data. So, shark week, seal. Yeah, I've got no idea what any of these are going to be. But, uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. So, obviously, Dust 2. I have to check. I have to check. Have they done, have they done what they did in 1.6 and then added just, like, a block over it? Because this update feels like they were just taking inspiration from 1.6. And that's really cool, and I want to see how they've changed visibility at top mid. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, why can't I learn- what? Why is the game just tabbed out? What the fuck? Okay, so apparently the game crash is caused by seal force preload, so I'm just gonna turn that off and then map just two and see if that fixes it. And hey yo! Oh my yeah, they did it! Come on, let's go! They did it! What is Oh that's even worse than in 1.6 because you literally can't see anything from here. Holy shit. That's so low! Oh my god, yeah, you can't even jump on this anymore. Okay, that's quite significant. That is so weird to look at that you no longer have to worry about Tom Mid. That completely changes the map. That literally changes the map completely. The the bomb sites in the actual in the old versions were like really garbage. What have they done to air site? Whoops. Okay, so they've expanded it this way. Which means you can now plan without being exposed to the fucking Okay, that's good. You can now plan and be safe from there or there. Or potentially both. I'm putting it down. That was yeah. a really good change. And you can still be pre-fired through that, but you know it's easy to pre-fire back rather than try and guess where in there somebody is. That is a really good fucking change. 
Uh, what about bombsite B? On my way to okay, so it's been expanded far. towards this wall a bit, so you can plant closer there. It's also been expanded out this... No, it was already expanded out this way, wasn't it? Actually, I think it's been expanded even further out because it doesn't look anything like the radar image. What the hell? Like, the radar doesn't say this is part of the bomb site, but it is, so... Sure. No, that looks way larger, yeah. Okay, so basically they made the bomb sites more playable, which is good, because the bomb sites were kind of too small before. They did stuff on Inferno, but I don't really give a shit. Uh... Yeah, I don't really care, so I'm not gonna look at that. Uh, what else did they do? I think that's about it, really. Yeah, that's actually about it.